Local taxpayers may take a big hit if the actions of the Monroeville Mall become the trend in this region. The mall's owners appealed their assessment, saying it was much lower than the government said. And a special courtmaster agreed. Money editor John Delano has the details. As malls across America downsize as people shop online, there is a tax consequence looming for local taxpayers as mall owners appeal to reduce their property assessment values. They're sophisticated. They can hire the lawyers. They can hire the appraisers. They can get the discount because of the assessments being out of whack, and these values will come down. Mike Suley once ran Allegheny County's Office of Property Assessment, and he says Monroeville Mall is typical. A special common pleas court master just ruled Monroeville Mall was overassessed for the last three years, and the three taxing bodies must refund CBL Properties, the owner of the mall, a total of $2,250,000 in overpayments. It's a huge tax break for the mall. Under the court stipulation, Allegheny County must pay the mall $379,000. Monroeville must pay $321,000, while the Gateway School District owes over $1.5 million to the mall. This is a serious wound to the Gateway School District. There will be repercussions down the road financially. And it's a problem going forward. The lower assessed values could mean a loss of a half million dollars in taxes each year. At one time, the mall was assessed as high as $148 million. It's dropped to $78.6 million in 2018. CBL Properties, the owner of this mall, told me they would have no comment on their success in this property assessment appeal. Nor would they tell me whether the million plus dollars they're getting would stay right here in Monroeville or be sent back to the headquarters in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And no word from school officials, although sources say a rainy day fund could cover the immediate loss. John Delano, KDKA TV News.